Hello guys, it's me James back again. So far we have discussed how to draw various stripes using the pre-built functions available in the graphics library, but we haven't dealt about the colors yet. So in this video we shall be looking at the uh, flat fill function, the set color function, as well as a set fill style function. So with that let's get started. So as usual I have created a file and named it as color.c. So up to this point we have learned how to draw the basic shapes like circles, rectangles, arcs, sectors, ellipses, etc. But we haven't uh, learned deal about the colors yet. But I hope that you may have noticed that in the case of the sector function and the fill ellipse function, the function automatically fills the shapes with the default color and fill pattern. But that is not available in the case of other functions. So let, let's learn how to apply, uh, how to uh, enable that facility that is filling, filling the shapes like circles, ellipse, etc. And the C graphics library provides as a function known as flat fill to achieve this functionality. So let's learn about the flat fill function in, in detail. So when it comes to the parameter list, the flat fill function takes exactly three parameters. The first two parameters are x and y coordinate, and the third parameter is the color of the border of the shape. The uh, the border, I hope that makes sense. And the first two parameters are the uh, are must be a point that that lies inside the shape, and if lies outside the shape, uh, the uh, the everything. Uh, the uh, complete screen will be of that color and I'll, I'll show you what happens exactly and f and for the sake of demonstration let's try a circle first of all with that uh, as we have did in the earlier previous videos and let's look at the difference when we use the flat fill function as usual let's the parameters 150 150 and the radius may be almost 80 let's combine it and run it As you can see, we got this. We got a circle with the center on the point 150, 150, and uh, with a radius of 80 pixels. And if we use the flat fill function without any fill styles, it will fill the circle with the default fill style. That is, the the default color is white, and the fill style will be uh, and it fills the circle with the default fill style as well. So let's use the flat fill function, and make sure that you must use the flat fill function immediately after where 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 you have called the function that re the required function and in the in this case you must uh, you must call the flat fill function immediately after the circle function otherwise it won't work as required so the um, so now now let's consider a point that lies inside the circle circle and the point 150 150 is the center of the circle and it lies exactly inside the circle being the center now let's apply the parameters as 150 150 and the third parameter is the border and and let it be the default color white. Let's run it and look at the difference. So as I have mentioned, it fills the color with the default fill pattern and fill color. And the default color was white, as you may have noticed in the case of the sectors and the fill ellipse. So that's the case of flood fill. And now we can change the color color a little bit. Now we can and um, the C graphics library provides us a function known as set fill style to achieve that. So let's change the color. So use the set fill style function be before the flood fill function, and uh, it takes exactly two parameters. And uh, the first parameter is the type of the fill pattern. And please look in the description below to see what are the various types of fill patterns available in the available as part of the C graphics library. And the second parameter is the color. As so, as I have mentioned earlier, oh no, I have not mentioned. Uh, the color that we have a wide variety of colors ranging from 0 to 15 and you can use any numbers from 0 to 15 as a second parameter and the number 4 stands for red and if you run it the color of the circle changes from white to red so as you can see the color changes from white to red but the border is still white now let's change the color to almost uh, 13 and look at the difference it may be almost pinkish I think so as I as you can see the color has changed from red to pink so please refer to the to the description to see what are the various types of uh, fill states available and 
uh, also th there are only 10 fill styles that is from 0 to 10 0 is a, uh, 1 is a default fill style as uh, 1 is a default fill style plain fill style and uh, there are only can give any numbers from 0 to 10 as the first parameter and the second parameter ranges from 0 to 15 and uh, in this case we shall give the style as the 10 and it is almost dotted I think so the dotted pattern as you can see the, um, the colors mm, the fill pattern is almost dotted and filled with pink and you can you can experiment with these patterns and and it's all all and it is all up to you now let's learn about the uh, set color function now set color function is applicable to any shape but it is more oh I have not demonstrated that uh, that uh, what happens when we, we give a point outside the function so let's learn about that so in case you're wondering how how did I get those codes back after erasing um, I use the shortcut that alt plus backspace now let's give another point that that lies just outside the circle and looks and and let's have a look so let's consider a point outside the circle so the radius is 80 and um, let it be uh, 250 250 just random values and I'm sure that it's outside the circle and let's see what happens as you can see the the part except the circle has been filled so that that is the mm, so that happens if you uh, gave an a uh, game a point that is outside the circle so th so this happens uh, often when 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 i use and when i use this flat fill function and make sure that you point you you find out a point that is exactly inside the shape that in the case of other functions like rectangle and stuff etc and now let's de deal about the set color function and to deal with, deal with the set color function, the uh, the best example is of the is of the line function. And so, first of all, let's draw a line from the point uh, 150, 150 to almost uh, what to say 250, and uh, y should be 300. And let's define the color to be. And the set color function takes exactly one parameter and we can either supply the name of the color or the number as I have mentioned earlier in the in the case of the set fill style function uh, the second parameter of the set fill style function uh, the parameter of the set color function as well as, as well as the second parameter of the set fill style function are just the same it can take either the values from 0 to 15 or the name of the color then in this case let's give oh, as red and look at the difference and, and it draws a red line as you can see, it draws a red line from the point 150, 150 to the point uh, 250, 300, I guess. Yes, I gave it as as it is. Now let's uh, let's have a look how it how it look without the set color function, the default white color. Yes, as you can see, the default white color has been applied, and you can customize as per your needs. Now let's let's give any value, uh, an arbitrary value between 0 to 15. Let's say 12 and have a look have a look at it uh, it is almost reddish a light red something like I, I don't know what the color exactly is and you can also experiment with these set color functions as well now let's consider the example in the case of the rectangle function the set color function uh, defines the color of the border only while the flat fill fills the shape now in the case of rectangle let's give the point as the as if uh, if you don't remember the syntax of the or not the syntax of the parameter list of the rectangle function, the first two parameters are the upper left corner and the second two parameters and the final two parameters are the x and y coordinates in terms of the bottom right corner of the rectangle. Now the upper left corner let, let it be 150, 150 as usual. Simply random values. Picking out just random values and, let, and the uh, the bottom right corner let it be 300 and uh, 250. And let's have a look. As you can see, the border, the border color of the rectangle had changed from the default white to the uh, the color that we have given inside the set color function. So that's it for this video. Make sure you like this video and share so that uh, others others benefit. And as usual, 